You've probably seen my original Oilers video where I call them out for a complete lack of accountability and how until they actually addressed that, nothing was really going to change. The sense of entitlement that ran through the entire organization was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you're a former Oiler? You should run the team. You were drafted in the first round? We've got a spot on the first line for you. You're the assistant coach's son? Suit up. The nepotism and favoritism turned the Oilers into the least professional team in the league, possibly in pro sports. But Todd McClellan has come in and made a major difference, major difference. Just listen to his post-game comments after the game in Los Angeles on Saturday. The roster, the injuries, the illnesses, who cares? It happens. There's going to be other teams in the league that go through it, so suck it up, fellas. Let's keep going. And... That is what being a professional is all about. You don't whine and complain when the going gets tough. The game doesn't owe you anything. Your team doesn't owe you anything. The referees certainly don't owe you anything. You have to go out and earn it. And the player that exemplifies this change in the Oilers culture the most is Leon Dreisaitl. See, the big knock about Dreisaitl going into his draft year was his skating. He looked a lot like pancakes out there. A big man just sort of lumbering around the ice. And despite needing to work on this, before graduating to the NHL, Mac T, in all his managerial brilliance, traded the Oilers' second-line center and didn't replace him, which provided zero competition in camp, so Dreisaitl was gifted a spot on the team. Well, it became very obvious that he was in over his head, and he was eventually sent back to junior. Now, this year at training camp, I would say that Dreisaitl probably played well enough to make the team. But McClellan decided not to make him a part of the final roster. And when Dreisaitl was sent down to the minors, and he's admitted this, he sulked for a little bit. But then he put his head down and he got to work. And this play from last night's game just illustrates how far Dreisaitl has come. He flies through the neutral zone and sends a beautiful pass over to Taylor Hall. And I think the main thing to remember here is who he's on the ice against. Three Conn Smythe Trophy winners. Leon isn't scoring and getting chances against weak competition. Dreisaitl has been excellent for the Oilers for the last few weeks, and last night was no exception. He had a great game. Not only did he score late to tie it and send it to overtime, he also, and more importantly in my opinion, went 57% in the face-off dot against Taves. And I think Jonathan Taves is the most complete player in the game. I know it's only been nine games, but Dreisaitl's second in the league in points per game. After so many years of the Oilers mishandling their young players, it is great to see one of them flourishing under proper guidance. I'll see you next week.